morning. Good morning. Let's see if a few more people will join us. Got the live chat open. It's a fundraiser stream for uh, raising funds for the new 3D printer I need. And uh, morning. Good morning, everybody. Doing a fundraiser today, trying to raise money for the new 3D printer. Uh, oh, sorry, sound a little quiet there. Uh, let's try this. Turn up the volume here. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. morning everybody yeah doing a fundraiser um the link is in one of my videos on my youtube channel you can go there uh if you want to donate uh, a couple bucks to, so i can get uh um uh money i need to get my new 3d printer so i can uh get the uh rpg uh renegade on the way and start building it i've done some stuff on it this week and uh, so anyways, uh, if anybody has any questions, comments, uh, put it in the live chat and I can answer your questions. <sighs> Just woke up not long ago. It's breakfast. So if you guys have any uh, questions for me, please ask. <sighs> Trying to find a comfortable spot here. I'm still working on my first coffee. <coughs> yep, so the new generator is going good. I, if, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see what I've done up to date. Got the coils made. Um, got the wheel installed. Uh, try to tried some uh, preliminary tests with the uh, pickup coils that I've designed, and it looks like I'm getting quite a bit of current out of these coils. So I did a low test on them, just right up, uh, just hooked it straight up to a uh, uh, amp meter. It looked like I was generating about 80 milliamps uh, per coil, so that's pretty good right there. Considering I'm not putting any power into it, it's just picking up the flux that's coming off the uh, magnets off the wheel as it's spinning. So, yeah. So it's fundraiser day, trying to uh, uh, try to get some money accumulated so I can buy the new 3D printer so I can print the parts I need. I, I got to print the, uh, the coil um, um, holders, which I have uh, posted in my community section of the, web, of the uh, YouTube channel. So it's uh, on the top. And just scroll across you'll see community and then you'll see the latest stuff i've done i'm posting a lot of the um pictures there i'm also posting a lot of uh great information on tesla faraday edley scallon uh victor schauberger just to name a few so there's a lot of good reading content there also on the carbon graphite magnesium batteries i got a uh, a nice little uh, write-up on that uh what else do i got uh yeah, lots of pictures of the new build. So if you want to see what I'm up to as far as the new build, um, it's all there. Um, if you click on one of the videos that I have, then go in the description and you'll see you can become a Patreon or you can just do a quick donate through PayPal. You know, a couple bucks. It'll help me uh, get this new 3D printer I need uh, to start making the parts I need. I also designed also... Uh, a battery case holder that's going to hold the batteries in place in the case so i designed that last night in fusion so that's all done so i got all the designs ready they're ready to go i just need a 3d printer so that's why i'm doing this fundraiser today i figure saturday morning i can um, try doing the fundraiser try to raise a few bucks to uh put towards the new 3d printer um yeah, so if you guys have any questions about what I'm doing, whatever, uh, live chat is open. Please uh, put your questions there, and I can help you guys out as much as I can. 
I uh, had a few good, really po uh, comments in the last last video I did. Yeah, last video I had some really good comments there. So some people are got a lot of knowledge out there. So it's just a matter of taking that great knowledge and put it to good use, and you know, get on the board and uh, on the bench and start making some stuff. You know, there's a few people out there who really surprised me in their knowledge. Just got to get on the bench and start building some of this stuff, right? Uh, if you like the live stream, don't forget, give me a thumbs up for the live stream. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to go as long as I can or until my battery dies here. Yeah, thanks, Reefer. Yeah, you're one of my regular guys. And all the Patreons, too, help. Uh, on the Skinner device, I'll have to look up on that one. I've heard of it, but I don't know too much about it. Over Unity Research, okay. I'll have to look that up. Skinner device. I know I've heard that somewhere before. Probably have, just can't remember because it's only like 9.30 in the morning here. I see all the bags under my eyes. Yeah. Been a busy week at work, so gotta go for training next week, so yeah, I'm gonna be a busy man. Yeah, I gotta do taxes too. Yep. That's one thing I gotta work on this month. Due at the end of April, so I got a bit of time. And then uh weekend of the uh March 25th is my uh, 50th birthday, so I'm going to be busy that day. My wife's uh, holding a big birthday party for me on my uh, birthday on the 25th. Yeah, I know. It's not easy funding this stuff all out of your... If it weren't for my patrons, I wouldn't be able to do half the stuff I'm doing. Like, really, the Patreons has just been, like, oh, you know, enormous help. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try taking some time to myself on my birthday and celebrate my 50th. I think that's my golden birthday. Yeah, golden birthday. So, hopefully I feel golden. <laughs> oh, I know that I know that all my extra money goes to my projects so when I need something I don't have money I'm not spending it on my projects Patreons definitely help out, though. No doubt. So I've been actually researching a few people over the last week. Um, actually, well, I've written some articles on them. At least Scallon's one of them. Been researching some of his work. Uh... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never throw anything out. I got probably about a hundred raid switches that I totally smashed by not isolating them. When I was doing my first uh, pulse motors, I would always fry my raid switches. And then finally I figured out, oh, well, maybe I should put that in a separate circuit so I wouldn't fry them anymore. So you learn from your mistakes. <coughs> That's the only way you learn by blowing shit up. So, <laughs> was that Vassin Corporation? Who are they? Or what did they make?
Well, I almost became a fallen soldier. That day I hit myself with a high voltage capacitor and uh, decided to dead short it across my two fingers on each arm. Oh yeah, that almost knocked me off my chair. Thank God the capacitance was small. Yeah, start with the small projects first. Learn learn some of the theory you have to read because if you don't read, you're not going to figure any of this stuff out. Like, you know, electronics and electrical stuff is not my forte. Stuff I've learned over quite a few years. So something I had to learn myself, right? Never went to school for it. I'm, I'm a, in manufacturing. Uh, right now I'm working on a water jet, so... Uh, that's pretty cool. So I've always been a machinist and, you know, I've always been in the mechanical side, you know, mechanical engineering types of work. But, um, yeah. So I'm doing some pretty cool stuff right now. I gotta go for a training course on Monday, so I'm gonna do that. And then, uh, also gotta do the water jet training. I pretty much already know how to run it. I figured it out in one week. So. Oh, yeah, the pizzos. Oh, yeah, they can give you a real good. Yeah. <laughs> you get you get the peri barium titanate piezoelectrics. Oh, yeah, they'll throw an arc. They'll throw a real big arc. Because what's happening, and I finally found out pretty much what is going on and the tip-off was Nikola Tesla so reactive power what's actually happening is the piezo is creating a vibration of the frequency in the circuit and because of this what happens is the reactive power is creating a vibration within the coil so what happens is when you have a coil and you charge it up and then you discharge it, that coil collapses and the power is gone. What happens when you got reactive power is the magnetic field never goes away. So when you have reactive power going through that inductor or capacitor, so you need two things for reactive power. You need an inductor, and the second thing you need is capacitance. You have those two things, you can create reactive power. Okay, according to Tesla. So if you have capacitance and you have um, a coil or an inductor, you can create reactive power. So when you modulate your power, say like an AC frequency, I kind of took it to a new level with the piezo. The piezo creates a higher frequency than what an AC waveform would do. Because I'm using DC power, I had to mo modulate it. So with the... Um, with the spark gap switch, it's creating that frequency, the initial frequency to build up the charge and create the reaction. The piezo, what it does, it, it goes to a higher frequency. When that happens, the, the reactive power does this. It goes in two directions, not just forward. It also goes backwards, okay? And because it's also going backwards into the inductor again, that inductor, instead of the field collapsing and going away, it actually maintains the magnetic field. This is where that phantom supposed fake energy comes from. It's because the coil, when you think you create the back EMF, the coil field collapses and ends. Well, when you have reactive power, that collapsing never collapses all the way. It maintains the magnetic field in the inductor. And now you get this pumping action, like a pump, like Bendini used to talk about. It's a pump. So if you're totally letting it collapse, um, <laughs> what was that? 430 volt shock. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been jolted pretty, pretty damn good, too. Enough to almost knock me, <clears throat> knock me off the chair, actually. Almost give me a heart attack because it, it went right through my 
front of my body. I grabbed a capacitor like this and it still had a charge on it. Now it's a 15 kVA uh, capacitor, ceramic capacitor. It didn't feel good. So well, going back to the reactive power, you can you can look up stuff what Tesla was talking about what reactive power is. Actually, he says reactive power is actually more important than the real power itself because you have to um, you have to maintain the magnetic field in the coil. If the coil magnetic field totally disappears, then you have to ramp it up again. You have to start from zero where the reactive power <clears throat> maintains that um, capacitor is not uh, uh, spark gap is not a, a capacitor is not a spark gap merely a single use one <laughs> <coughs> Still working on my first coffee. So yeah, if if you want to learn about reactive power, try to look up all the stuff on Tesla. I do have an article in my community section of my um, YouTube channel, and um, it actually has some specific quotes that he said what reactive power is. So what this generator is, it's a reactive power generator, and that's why Paul Babcock and uh, um, uh, Jim Murray are working on. So they got some uh, different ways of doing it with advanced switching. I went a completely different direction. I'm getting good results. So and the piece of transducer seems to be creating that reactive power scenario in the coil and maintaining the uh, electromagnetic field in the coil so it doesn't have to ramp itself up again. It's, it, it, it sustains that, uh, that field in the coil which is extremely important. So, uh, yeah, in my other video descriptions, I got my link for my Patreon and also my PayPal donate. It's my fundraiser day. I'm trying to raise money for my uh, 3D printer. And uh, if you guys uh, have a, an extra buck or two, um, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm going to be keeping the stream going. I might stop the stream and I might start it up later in the day. So I'll be in and out all day long. Plus I want to do some stuff, work on the motor uh, generator. So I'll be doing that. Um, yeah. So any other questions you guys might have or ideas or I don't know if you guys can check out in uh, the community section, I got, all the schematics of the um, the coil holders and the battery holder that I designed last night in Fusion. So you can check that out. Uh, I got a lot of content that I'm building that community section because I'm finding that it's actually helping the channel because there's a lot of stuff in there that the algorithm within YouTube is picking that up. And I'm getting more traffic because of it because people are doing searches on this stuff. So the more community uh, uh, posts that I do is actually really helping me out. So, yeah, I'll be doing a lot more articles in the, in the future. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, you can always check it out every day, every morning when you wake up, log into my uh, YouTube channel and look in the community section. Yeah, the new rotor is about... I have to weigh it. it I, it's at least five pounds. Yeah, it will create more momentum. Oh, yeah. Like the new one, yeah, is way heavier than the old one I'm using. That one's only a six-inch router and only weighs maybe half a pound. Well, this one's over five pounds. So, or th yeah, probably within the five-pound range. And it's also a 12-inch diameter. It's quite a bit larger. And that's going to help with the generator coils. <clears throat> like you said, if there's a lot of momentum created with that wheel to speed it up and have three inductors hooked up to it, and, you know, uh, putting power to those inductors, it's not going to slow down. So it'll have a lot more horsepower behind it when it comes to momentum and inertia, right? So. Yeah, definitely. Upgrade the wheel. It's 12 inch diameter, one foot. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'll be around all day. I'll be posting stuff and working on the project and I got four people logged in right now, so anybody else have any questions? Are they working on a project and they need a suggestion or whatever? We might be able to help. On the live scooter. Well, it's for breakfast, so I had eggs. I had eggs for breakfast, and I'm still working on my first coffee. Yep, I had scrambled eggs and coffee and juice, and that's it. Pretty basic breakfast. Actually, I woke up early today. Yeah, thanks. Hope I have a good day, too. Hopefully, it's going to be a productive day. I got to do some work on this generator today. I got to work on the wiring, layouts, schematics. Yeah, a lot of stuff. This new motor is going to be incredible. This, one, this new motor is going to be mind blowing. <laughs> Anybody else have any uh, questions or, or it's too early? Maybe I'll do another stream later on today. But yeah, uh, fundraiser day. Uh, every time I come on, uh, do a live stream today, it'll be fundraiser for a new 3D printer I need to work on my project, print the parts I need. And... Uh, doesn't look like anybody else is really joining. Oh, we got six people on right now. All the links for my uh, PayPal donate and uh, Patreon. If you want to donate, help me um, raise money for my uh, 3D printer, uh, you can do so in one of the videos. Just click on the description below and you'll have the link there for a PayPal donate. Or if you want to become a Patreon and follow me, like, uh, uh, my Patreons have really increased, and it's really, really helped me out to uh, fund my projects and um, uh, get the new ideas on the table and actually build something. And there, I got over 250 videos posted in my uh, site right from basically when I started. Well, actually, I have a lot more that aren't even posted there anymore because they were so old. But some of the early experiments I was working on, I've been at this since like 2006, so it's a many years I have working on this stuff. Uh, yeah, so I guess if nobody else is making any comments or whatever, I'm going to do a live stream later on today. Um, it is early. It's only like nine, yeah, 940 here in Toronto, so I'll be doing some more live streams later on today. Thank you, everybody. Um, if there's no other questions, if you have any questions now, um, probably just going to uh, stop the live stream and do something later on today when everybody is awake. Okay, uh, we'll call it quits for now, and I'll start a live stream later in the afternoon today or early this evening. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to everybody soon.